Hello everyone, welcome to the lesson. In this lesson I want us to look at calculus and majorly what I want us to focus on in this lesson is area under the curve. So let us go straight to the question and see how we're supposed to do that. Uh, the question reads, the diagram below shows the straight line intersecting the curve at the points P and Q. The line also has the x-axis at 7, 0 and y-axis at 7, at 0, 7. So the diagram is there. Uh, let's scroll down to the question. Uh, the first question, find the equation of the straight line in the form y is equals to mx plus c. Find the equation of the straight line in the form y is equals to mx plus c. So you can see the straight line that is where the points p and q lie. So how are we going to get um, the equation of a straight line? Very easy. For you to get the equation of a straight line, you need to have two points on the line or one point and the gradient. So in this case, we have two points. Uh, one point is here, where we have, uh, we given here, 7, 0. And then we have, um, we have a 0, 7 here. And then there is another point here. This point is uh, this 7, 0. And then we have this point that is here this is zero seven so those are the two points on that line so we can use those two points to get the equation of a straight line uh, very fast let us do that so to get the um, equation of that line we have now the two point seven zero and we have zero seven so the first thing is to get the gradient so let us get the gradient of that um, those two points so gradient is given by change in y which is a uh, 7 subtract 0 so 7 subtract 0 change in y over the change in x change in x we have 0 subtract 7 so this will give 7 divided by negative 7 so the gradient therefore will be given by negative 1 so after getting the gradient uh, now we can introduce, we can just pick one point, either 7, 0 or 0, 7. I'll pick 0, 7 and introduce another general point on that line, which we can call it uh, x, y. And now having you know, the gradient is negative 1, using these two points, the gradient is uh, change in y, which is y subtract 7. But change in x, this x subtract 0 should give the gradient, which is negative 1. So we can put this one over 1, then cross multiply. So y subtract 7 multiplied by 1 is y subtract 7 is equals to x subtract 0 is x, then times negative 1. When you multiply this one, you get negative x. This is just cross multiplication. So y therefore, taking negative 7 to the right hand side, you get negative x plus 7. So that is the equation of that line, the straight line that is given there that is where the point p and q lie in the form y is equals to mx plus c part b of the question find the coordinates of p and q the coordinates of p and q so let's go to the diagram and see how we're supposed to get uh, the coordinates of p and q so you can see point p is the intersection of the curve and the line the straight line q the same so how do you get these um coordinates you, give, you need to give the coordinates in form of uh, x and y so to get the coordinates of these uh, point p and q we need to take the equation of the curve and um, the equation of the straight line so that's the first thing you're going to do the equation of the curve is given by so the equation of the curve is given by y is equals to x minus one squared plus Four. If we expand these and open the brackets, this will give x subtract 1 squared will give x squared subtract 2x plus 1 then plus 4. So after expanding these, we get y is equals to x squared subtract 2x plus 5. That is the equation of the curve. And then the equation of a straight line is y is equals to negative x y is equals to negative x plus 7. So this is the equation of the curve and this is the equation of a straight line and when you look at the, the, the point p and q those are the intersection points of the straight line and the curve 
So to get uh, the point of intersection, what you need to do is to equate uh, these functions. You can see both of these represent the same function. This is a uh, y is equal this is a function of y and this one is a function of y so what you can do to get the the point of intersection uh, we're going to take the equation of the curve the function of y is equals to x squared subtract 2x plus 5 that is a function of y for the curve then the function y for the straight line is negative x plus 7 we are quitting them since both of them are the functions of y They're the functions of y so you are just uh, equating the y functions so uh, after doing that we can take the everything to the left hand side and this is what to get x squared subtract 2x plus 5 then bringing everything from the right hand side to the left hand side you get plus x subtract 7 is it zero? Simplifying these, you get x squared, a negative two x plus x is a negative x. Then uh, five negative seven is negative two is equals to zero. So you can see this one forms a quadratic equation. And uh, to solve these, uh, you can use factorization. So I'm looking for two numbers whose product is negative two, and the sum is negative one. Now these two numbers are negative two and one. So I'm using factorization. So simplifying this, I get x squared, negative 2x plus x, uh, subtract 2 is equals to 0. Factorizing, when you factorize this, this is what you get. Factorizing, you get uh, x plus 1, uh, x subtract 2. Remember, you can use any suitable method to solve this quadratic equation. You can use even the quadratic formula. I'm using factorization. So it's equals to 0. So you find x will be negative 1 and uh, x will be 2. So you can see we have two values of x. Why do we have two values of x? The reason is because uh, when you look at this um, equation, you can see very well that the points of intersection of the curve and the line are two. So one is on the positive axis and the other one is on the negative side. If this one is zero, you have one to the left. So this one is the one that is negative one. And then the one that is uh, to the right, that one is uh, two. Now, after identifying uh, these two values of x, so x is equals to two. This one is a value of x is two. To the right, this is uh, the one to the right of zero the left of zero we have negative one so these are the two uh, points now those are the x values the x coordinates now we need to get the y coordinates now we need to get the y coordinates so how do you get the y coordinates now the y coordinates uh, we shall get the y coordinate after equating these values of x in either the equation of the curve or the equation of the straight line because that is those are the point of intersection so i will use the equation of a straight line y is equals to negative x plus 7 uh, when x is when x is equals to negative 1 what to be um, we just confirm something here Let's see whether it was um, yes it was negative 1 and 2 so when x is negative 1 when x is negative 1 just substitute here you get y is equals to this will be 1 plus 7 so y will be 8 so the coordinates of p therefore point p will be negative 1 8 as simple as that then for the coordinates of q we're going to use the same equation you remember you can use the equation of the curve or the equation of the straight line so y is equals to negative x plus 7 so when x is equals to 2 when x is equals to 2 when x is equals to 2, just substitute y is equals to um, negative 2 plus 7. So y will be 5. Will be 5. So therefore, uh, point Q, point Q will be x is 2, y is. So those are the coordinates of P and Q. So P negative 1, 8. So let me write it here. P 
P is negative 1, 8. And then Q, uh, Q is um, 2, 5. As simple as that. So after getting now the coordinates of point Q, point P and Q, P is equals to negative 1, 8, and Q is equals to 2, 5. So let us proceed now to the next question. Calculate the area of the shaded region. Calculate the area of the shaded region. So the area of the shaded region, uh, as you can see from the diagram here, uh, the area of the shaded region is the area bounded by the straight line and the curve. So to get the area of the shaded region, something very important here, we need to get the area under the line, the straight line between negative 1 and 2, and we subtract the area under the curve between negative 1 and 2. So get the area under the line between negative 1 and 2. And you're going to use integration to get that. The area under the curve. And it is good to remember the equation of the curve first before we proceed. The equation of the curve is given by x subtract 1 squared minus this, this is plus. Just confirm here. Uh, plus 4 plus 4 so after expanding these these what we got we got uh, x squared minus 2x plus 5 x squared minus 2x x squared minus 2x plus 5 that is after expanding that is the equation of the curve then the equation of the line so in line is a negative x plus 1 so to get the area of the shaded region, we are going to integrate. Remember when we integrate, we get the exact area. Integrate uh, between negative 1 to 2. Look at the uh, diagram here. Look at the diagram. Between negative 1, those are the limits. Uh, the area under the line between negative 1 and 2. Between negative 1 and 2. So integrate this function of the line the equation of the line with respect to x then we subtract the area under the curve between negative 1 and 2 the equation of the curve is here. x squared subtract 2x plus 5 with respect to x so that is what is going to give the area under the not the area of the shaded region so we start by getting the area under the line the area under the line so we integrate this negative x squared divided by 2 plus 7x plus a constant c uh, square bracket then from negative 1 to 2 so this is one uh, we start by substituting 2 so we get a negative 2 squared and then uh, divided by 2 plus 7 2 we can ignore c since uh, when you subtract c will disappear then subtract when we substitute 1 so negative 1 and this one is uh, you need to be very keen here we need to be very keen uh, since um, uh, you are substituting negative 1 eh? so you have negative then negative 1 squared divided by 2 plus 7 negative 1 like that you need to be very careful there so we proceed so what do you get here uh, this one will be 4 so it will be negative 4 over 2 plus 14 then subtract this will be 1 over 2 this will be negative So this will be negative 2 plus 14, like, like that, and then subtract. This is a negative 7 and a half. So this is a negative half minus 7, negative 7 and a half, like that. So negative 2 plus 14 will give uh, 12, then subtract. 
uh, when you open the bracket you get positive so this one will be seven and a half and when you add these you get 12 plus seven and a half you get 19 and a half so the area under the uh, the equation of the curve don't forget the equation of the curve is uh, given by y so we are integrating uh, let me not repeat this we're integrating uh, this and it's already here we already got it so negative from negative 1 to 2 then the equation is 2x plus 5 with respect to x the greeting this is, is, is x cubed divided by 3 minus 2x squared divided by 2 that will give uh, x squared So that will give negative x squared since it will be negative 2x squared divided by 2 then plus 5x plus c and the square bracket this is a negative 1 2 so for getting that um, we can also uh, substitute uh, substitute uh, 2 so we have um, 2 cubed divided by 3 subtract 2 squared plus 5 2 like that we don't need to put that c to disappear then subtract uh, subtract uh, substitute 1 so negative 1 cubed divided by 3 minus negative 1 squared plus 5 negative 1 like that like that uh, then 2 cubed is uh, 8 over 3 minus 4 plus 10 like that then here we have negative 1 cubed is uh, negative 1 over 3 this will be negative 1 squared is 1 then, um, negative 5 like that so you can simplify this one using a calculator you can simplify this on 8 over 3 8 over 3 subtract 4 and then plus 10 you get 8 8 and 2 of that this one will give 8 and 2 that then subtract mm, here you have negative a third we have negative a third negative a third and then negative one negative five this will give negative six and a third negative six and a third like that so subtracting these eight and two thirds uh, this negative and negative will be positive when you multiply 6 and a third so this will give um, 15 this is 8 and 2 thirds plus 6 and one third this will give um, 15 15 by units so the area of the shaded region shaded region is equals to area under the line area under the line which you got is uh, 19 and a half subtract the area the area under the curve and the area under the curve we got it as uh, 15 so when you subtract these you get uh, four and a half square units so that is um, mm. uh, simply how you're supposed to solve that question by simply uh, knowing how to integrate and also something else that was very important is how to get the point of intersection of the straight line and also the curve. Thank you so much.